The Dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the Dreamscape. Wait, did that billboard just move? According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a... Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Welcome to Dreamscape sales store. It's me, the Dreamscape sales store. I also go by the name of Dr. Edward. <laughs> And I'm happy to be at your service. Here's where you'll get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Glock Studios to uh, private donations. <laughs> we have it all! If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentacon, isn't it? Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> and that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream bubble. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Akifili. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. It's the magic of psychoanalysis, sir. Well, let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Blazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akivili's. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with. I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious.
The subconscious has vast potential, sir. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. I'm rendering it as we speak. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? You rode snowmobiles into the Tychian Stadium! and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 Nose Walker Cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pawpaw pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I... I do admit to consuming the last serving of the Express Special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul clad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise and a break-in to the Conductor's exclusive Snack Vault. Let me reiterate that I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream novel. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is! Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces! That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How was your experience? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? What a shame. Please come again. Oh, right. As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Penacony.
I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Watch your step now. Mister? Don't even think about running away. You stole away. She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see you. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family, and those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Uh, I understand. It's only right to return the favors I receive. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacone? Astral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. 
I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> well, I'm not booked for any performances. And most visitors to Pentaconi don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own entourage with them. No, it's not like that. Pentagoni is where people realize their dreams. There's always a festive atmosphere here. It's just that things can get a little crazy with the Charmony Festival drawing near. Me? No, I I'm not one of them. Not yet. I merely work for them. Well, we can talk about that another time. Right now, I want to give you a tour of the town. Here we go! Over here! It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. <laughs> 